Alrighty guys, what is going on? Corbin with Corbin's Corner Reviews, back again for another episode, and today we have a little swag bag spotlight. We have the Delirium and the Emerald XR. Uh, before we get into it, I'd like to thank my sponsor, Black Sheep Baggers. BlackSheepBaggers.com, bags, board, accessories, apparel, all that good stuff, amazing customer service. You know how I feel about those guys. They are awesome, awesome people. So use code Corbin5 for 10% off there. Um, it's like... 50 degrees out first nice day we've had in a while that wasn't crazy crazy windy we got like 72 the other day and then we had a tornado hit at like 1 30 in the morning it's pretty awesome um luckily not around me it was you know about a half hour north but um yeah just been a wild winter so i got a nice day figured i'd record um kai's out here with me uh nolan and the wife are out here earlier as well it just kind of depends they might be in and out um neighbors kind of lingering so we'll see um just means lingering means hanging out so, um, let's get into the swag bags here. I've had these for a while. I've done the chaos and the bazooka. Um, I have saw those before at awesome. my school. Thank you. I know how they work. Cool. I've had the, uh, I've had these for the same amount of time. Just haven't gotten to them yet, but it's time to get to them. I've thrown them enough. They're broken in enough. They're okay. So, uh, we'll start off with price. I think swag has really good prices and I don't really remember exactly what they are. It's like 85 or 90 bucks, something like that. Um, Ooh, excuse me. Really good prices. Uh, pro stamp, comp stamp. It doesn't really matter. Um, honestly, it's for the vast majority of us. It does not matter at all. So, um, go ahead. Hi. Cool. The Emerald XR is pro stamped. The, uh, delirium is comp stamped, but again, does not matter. Honestly. So, uh, breaking method, toss sauce on them. So I did the nuked on, uh, on the delirium, which is now called Primo. Um, and I did the carpet muncher on the Emerald XR. Of course, a little bit of uh, wrinkle right on there. Cause I like my bags just to be a little bit softer. My personal preference there, uh, shop toss sauce.com Corbin 10 for 10% off. If you guys want to try it, uh, it worked really well, came out great. Like they play how I want them to. And that's just what toss sauce does. That's why I like it. So, uh, we'll get into speeds here. So the Emerald XR is a four eight. And then the Delirium is, man, it's one of those. It's got like the um, Psycho X carpet on it. Um, I think, did Widow come out with that? No. Uh, it was like the Mojo fast side. You know, it's that 989 slow side. Not my favorite material in the world. Um, if it's really hot out, if it's quick out, it's fine. If it's a little bit damp or slow at all, it's just not my cup of tea. But... I say that to say this, uh, the speed can be anywhere from like a three to a seven, <laughs> like the standard speed on it is like a five to a six. Um, that's pretty standard, but any sort of humidity is going to kill it. Any sort of dry, quick conditions is going to just launch it right up. Uh, fast side nine. So your pro sniper, Viper, stuff like that. P90 fast side, you know, so, uh, not bad there. Uh, let's get into our three Fs. We got fill, feel and flop. Um, so on the Emerald XR here, it is, uh, it's got a lot of bead fill to it. Uh, it's probably a little bit mixed, but a lot of bead. Um, overall, feel is great, though. Corner seam centers are good. Closing stitch is awesome. Um, same with the delirium. Everything's good there, um, but this is all flat fill, it feels like. Mostly flat in there, maybe a little mixed, but mostly flat. Uh, this is more of a forgiving bag. Emerald XR is more of a fun flop around bag. So, overall, flop, though. Emerald XR, not crazy. A um, little more of a full bag, and that's that's good, right? Uh, the delirium here, it's going to be a taco. Um, once they're hundred percent broken, they're not there yet, but when they're hundred percent broken, they will be floppy tacos. Um, which is weird cause they're still not as full friendly as they need to be, but that's okay. Uh, we'll get into playability now. Uh, the Emerald XR carpet, right? So you got blocks, pushes, cuts, flops, rolls, air mills. Um, Slide around and drop, mostly fast side. The slow side is a little bit too slow to really sneak around and drop. Um, the, um, or the delirium here, you can do a lot of that same stuff. So blocks and pushes for sure. Sneak around and drop depending on the conditions. The side matters. Uh, fast side always, slow side sometimes. Um, you can flop and roll these. Um, if it's sticky outside, you can. It's not sticky out today. My boards are playing pretty quick. Uh, probably not going to be doing it. Might try. Probably not going to do it though. Um, my big problem with these is that um, pushes and stuff, they just kind of collapse on themselves. You know, there's not a lot to them. They're kind of floppy. The materials are pretty thin. So they kind of collapse on themselves if you're trying to push. Um, but that's okay. It's just, it, they work really well for some people. They're not my personal preference, but that's okay. Let's get into throwing them a little bit here. So that world XR is, I'm probably going to try to go ahead, babe. Hurry up. Probably going to try to do some fun stuff with them, kind of flop and roll and all that sort of stuff. Big pushes. Um, all right, Peanut, that's enough. On the delirium, okay, okay, I said that's enough, thank you. The delirium, we'll just kind of see what happens. So that's that's that four speed. You know, Mercenary uses it, uh, Fly Magic uses it, bags like that. So had a little hop there, didn't have the right angle on it, but they will do it. They don't struggle doing that at all. <laughs> if you can throw them correctly, that's the crazy part. If I could just throw it correctly, it's just slow side push here. Why not? 
I'll get more chances to flop. Oh, that's, that's why not, because I can't hit it. I'll get more chances to flop as the video goes on. But um, let's try a slow side push here with the delirium. Get through everything, maybe. Cool. That was actually a really good back. Um, I would would have liked it to fall, but pretty pretty good outcome there. I'm not foot fouling, by the way. My plant foot is staying there. Yeah, okay, stuff fell. As long as something fell, I was waiting for stuff to fall. It had to, right? <sighs> no. Not that I was fast side, I probably would have pushed through, would have fell. Uh, slow side. Just not going to do it. Um, it's probably one of my least favorite slow sides on a bag, period. You know, and I've talked to Chauncey about that. It's it's nothing against swag. It's nothing against him. I just, I don't love this material. It's not for me. Um, some people really like it, you know. Some people, it plays great for. If you got a really hard bag, a uh, really, really flat bag, it's fine. It's just, it, it actually fell there. I thought they were actually both going to hang up. <laughs> but I threw it a little harder, hoping to avoid that. But, I mean, in conditions, it plays well. In certain conditions, it plays well. And this is a condition where it should. Uh, if it was probably, oh, that's off. Probably 10 degrees warmer, it would play really well right now. Um, it's just a little a little cool out, uh, maybe a little bit of humidity. It's just not quite, quite where I want it to be. Uh, the problem is, like, if you're going to play a material like that, you might as well play carpet. That's just kind of the way I look at it. But... I guess carpet bags don't really have the same fill as uh, as non-carpet bags, so that could be a deciding factor there. But trying to go for a slow side push there, I'd, that's not what I ever do. I would go fast side push there all day, and that's why, because that bag would have gone. I'd have throw that really hard, um, and I wouldn't want to do that in standard gameplay. Just have a nice bag right up the gut on the fast side, and it'll go. But that was on the slow side portion, so kind of got to use the slow side. It's okay. So fast side here, cut and dry. This is my favorite. Off the board. This is my favorite eight fast side. Um, I like to play carpet bags now, throwing the fast side um, and just going hole for hole with people. And then if they try to block or something gets messy, I turn it over and I flop and roll, do something fun like that. Cut in. But what, babe? Okay, that's not gonna happen. Grab the hole, thank you. Because I'm almost done out here, honey. So, fast side of the delirium here is the flip. Oh, that's left. Okay, it's the flip side of the uh, Emerald XR fast side there. So that eight, that eight and the nine, they're the same fabric, just flipped. Um, so this is like the backing side. The eight side is the show side. This side's a little bit quicker, um, but I prefer the eight side overall because when this side gets really dirty and broken in, it actually gets slow. So, ah, I didn't want to hit my hand on the fence. I've literally, that might actually fall. There it goes. <laughs> I literally smacked my hand on that fence, actually. Um, my wood fence there, I smacked my hand on that multiple times today. And I can promise you it doesn't feel good. Um, so, I'm trying to avoid those step outs smacking my hand, but there's only so much I can avoid when I'm trying to step out, right? I mean, so I need more, uh, get up, just need more space. So, this nine side is good. I, I like this side. This side's not a problem. Um, cut. Wrong, wrong side. Viper fast, pro sniper fast, uh, P90 fast, it's all the same thing. Um, I like it. Cut. <laughs> Please. Listen to me once. I've always liked this side. Uh, I just prefer... Oh, I missed that right. I prefer the 8 side of the Emerald XR. It's just me. I'm a little more consistent. In conditions, um, a little more forgiving. A little easier for me to throw, personally. So, Obviously, I'm rushing fast side here, because fast side's boring on videos, right? I mean, I'm, and I'm yanking everything. This would be a perfect situation for a little cut, but I'm not going to because I can't. <laughs> trying to sneak down the right side. Didn't really work. Um, yeah, fast side is a little boring on videos. 
unless it's oh that was disgusting unless it's a big push like that you know big push nice collect something cool like that then fast side's fine but the slow side stuff is where it's at you know gives you the fun stuff lay the blocks flop around on um, air mails do do what you got to do so that's what we'll get into now do a little bit of the uh alternating back and forth here probably do two diamond backs of that that'll be enough on this guy it's not the block i wanted i'm gonna have to deal with it on the other other side of the board just also not the get around i wanted so i'm gonna actually try to go into this one hard and bring those both back to the left uh not sure if i can got to tilt it just right threw it just a little too hard but i like i like spinning that around because that would get an opponent's way um it also makes it very collectible for me now except i can't so here we are so now's a chance to try a little flop cut on this guy i uh, got bags on the right one to get around on the front kind of the right idea um see if i can possibly leave that one there and get them both no, I didn't. Oh my gosh, I didn't. Kylie, you gotta move. She's driving me a little berserk. I've been out here throwing probably an hour, hour and a half. And, uh, uh, man, it's just tough. Tough when the weather's nice and they just don't want to leave your side. It's just, it's tough. Go right through. Just gotta throw it down the middle. Um, that window's been open for majority of the time that I've been out here it's like you know new year new videos same damn stuff <laughs> same damn problems so we're okay okay so it is actually starting to get a little chilly out it's not bad just a little Dad, do you remember? hey Kai do you remember when um there we the, go. the squirrel came up to your feet I do I'm doing videos, honey. That one's in our yard right now. That's okay. the same squirrel. Can I go clean? <laughs> Didn't throw it nearly high enough to try that. Slide it. Or just block. <laughs> so I don't love that material. I thought I gave it enough juice, and I, I didn't. So I'll see if I can get around it, though. <sighs> Fell the wrong way. But swag is, uh, they've been doing good stuff. Damn, I did it again. Corbin. Swag makes some nice bags. Uh, there's a local guy that throws them. There's, he's sponsored by them. Um, he just does. There we go. He just does the dumbest stuff with these bags. I mean, the Emerald XRs, he, he manipulates them so good. It's, it's just wild. Nope. But that's kind of my it's my qualm with this slow side here. I feel like most other sides that bag will be in. It's not quite fifty percent in, two corners are hung up, that's the issue, but I just I don't know. It's not my favorite material, and that's okay. Doesn't have to be. Doesn't have to be the perfect material. Not every bag has the perfect materials. So just do a final down and back here. Get up. There we go. But it's just like I feel like when a carpet bag is more friendly than a non carpet bag, something's going on. But some people really like that material, and that's okay. Just not my cup of tea. Get up. Thank you. It's just these are playing really nice right now. This, this is the situation where I would totally throw these bags. Yeah. A little four bagger. Heard a little rattling. I think one of my pucks came loose or something. So then watch watch this slow side just be like yeah cool it's fine i decided to be playable now grab yeah see it's totally fine it's all good don't grab that honey yeah it's all good easy peasy <laughs> i just don't get it does it work with an airmail i had to miss something yeah i knew something came on piece of the shim that I was using in there. <laughs> so my driveway uh, changed a little bit. Thank you. My driveway changed a little bit over the winter and uh, you know like they always do. So a full a full shim in there isn't isn't good. It's too much. So I just use the uh, bottom piece of <laughs> of a shim of the uh, whatever the cover part that covers the 
sticky stuff. So it works, you know, got to make the boards level. Get up. But yeah, I mean, I'd, I don't hate how they throw. It's just not my favorite material. That's what it comes down to. Ah, that baby that fast right there. See if I can maybe leave a block. That's too short. It'll work though. Um, I'm just gonna try to grab it and push through it on this bag actually. It's kind of an aggressive shot. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I don't hate that, honestly. I don't hate that outcome. Because that gave it, gave me something to flop over. There it is. It's just they, they play nice, man. They play nice. Those Emerald XRs are really, really nice. Good bag. Well, let's get an air mail to finish her here. Ah, a little right. Not bad, though, not bad. Ooh, that stuff feels good. So, that is the uh, little swag bag spotlight here. Thank you. Got the Emerald XR and the Delirium. Um, both good. I like the Emerald XR way more, personally. Uh, my cup of tea. Like, Emerald XR and Bazooka are really good bags. Chaos is awesome, too. Don't get me wrong. But um, those are kind of my cup of tea there. Uh, but Swag's doing good stuff. Making really good bags this year. So um, that's the short and sweet on the Swag bags. Emerald XR and Delirium. Uh, if you guys like this video, please give me that thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your buddies. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.